Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I am super excited to be kicking off my 1,000 subscriber celebration video hop and giveaway. I recently reached 1,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel and to celebrate I wanted to put together a video hop and giveaway to give back to all of my subscribers. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate all of your support. There are some amazing creators participating in the hop today. Plus, there will be a giveaway prize for every single channel participating. So make sure you comment and subscribe at each stop along the way. First, I want to thank all of the amazing sponsors that have generously donated the prizes for the hop today. Here's a list of the different prizes you can win for hopping along with us, and they're valued at over $400. Confetti and Cards with Lisa Mincing donated a $50 gift card to the craft store of your choice. Doodles Paper Playground, a $10 gift certificate. Cat Scrappiness, $25 gift certificate. My Favorite Things Stamps, $10 gift certificate. Not Too Shabby, $15 gift certificate. Pear Blossom Press, a $25 gift certificate. Pink and Main, a prize pack valued at $25. Scrappy Boy Stamps donated a Stampin' Die set of your choice. Scrappy Tails donated a $25 gift certificate and another one was donated by Sharon Luska who is one of our participators today. Stampin' Munchkins a $25 gift card and TLC Designs donated two different prizes, a digital stamp set of your choice. Trinity Stamps donated a $30 gift certificate and Whimsy Stamps donated a $25 gift certificate. Plus, I'm donating a bag of crafty goodies valued at over $100. This includes three Stays On solvent inks in these colors that you see here. Plus this set of five stitched edge tag dies. This stamp scrubber from Pink and Main. This set of My Favorite Things Kite Shaker Dynamics. And a set of 10 shaker pouches so you can make some shaker cards. This stamp from Picket Fence Studios, and this is called Polka Dot Grunge. This stamp and die set from Pink and Main called Birthday Kids. Also, this uh, next stamp set is from May May Made It, and it's called Heads and Tails. This stamp set from Sassy and Crafty, this is called Barely Happy. Plus a paper pad, sticker pack, and matching ephemera from the Hello Autumn collection by Echo Park. So aren't these some amazing prizes that you can win? At the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. I hope you take the time to watch all of the hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. Now, if you aren't already a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and click on the little bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. You can also use the hashtag cards by Kendra 1K hop to find all of the videos for this hop. Please check out my description box for all of the details on how to enter. For my project, I'm sharing a quick and easy winter themed thank you card. I'm starting off with a white top folding A2 card base, which measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm using this blizzard stencil by Pink and Main directly on top of the Simon Hurley stark white cardstock that I trimmed and cut down off camera. Now, I've taken some low tack mint tape to help hold it in place. And I'm applying some Daydream ink. This is one of the Catherine Pooler mini inks. And it's a teal blue color and teal is one of my favorite colors. And I'm applying this using a Simon Says Stamp blending brush. And I'm applying it pretty dark just across the top half of the card. Actually, it's a little more than the top half of the card. But um, what I like about Catherine Pooler inks is that they stay wet a little longer than some of the other inks that I have. So if I hurry up, I can apply some embossing powder on top to whatever I'm using with this ink. And I thought that the frost blue embossing powder by Brutus Monroe would look really pretty on top of this teal color. So after applying the ink to the upper portion of my card base, I added that embossing powder on top. And uh, after making sure that I have plenty on here, and I definitely made sure I had plenty on here, I applied my heat tool. So 
So after melting the powder on top, I placed the stencil back on top where it was before and I just used the ink that was left on the brush to finish coloring in the rest of the snowflakes and dots toward the bottom. And so it just kind of gets lighter as it goes and gives it that ombre look. And um, I didn't want to go all the way to the bottom on the left hand side because I knew I wanted to add some snowflake die cuts in that corner. So next I'm using the Snow Sweet stamp set from Pink and Main and my Misty stamping platform to stamp out one of these cute little snowmen onto a piece of scrap card stock. And I'm stamping this out with Gina K's Amalgam ink because I'll be using some Copic markers to color this in just a little bit. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen me use this air hockey table pusher to apply pressure on top. It was my $2 eBay find and it works great for applying pressure. So now I am taking the card base and I'm placing this directly on the stamping platform. And I'm taking the stamp that says, thank you so much. And using the same daydream ink that I used for the snowflakes. I'm using that to stamp on the bottom right hand corner of the card. I just got these uh, Catherine Pooler mini inks and they're super juicy so you see I'm kind of making a little bit of a mess here but <laughs> I just kind of wipe away the excess with my microfiber towel and I think I accidentally touched the the edge of it there so I'm just applying it again and there I go making another big blob but I eventually get it and this stamps out perfectly so now I am taking some Copic markers to color up my snowman I'm starting with a blue green color BG09 and I'm applying that along the edges of the hat and then next I used BG05, which is my next to the lightest shade. And then I come in with BG01. Now for the edges of my snowman, I used a cool gray color C0 to trace along all around the outside of the snowman and then I used R22 for the nose and then I added some purple some V15 to the scarf just to give it another color there and then I took my Fiskars spring assist scissors and I fussy cut this out leaving a little bit of a white border around the edge I used the Elegant Snowflakes and Border Dies from Whimsy Stamps to cut out some snowflakes out of some teal foil cardstock and also some holographic cardstock by Pink and Main. And I glued them down on top of each other using some art glitter glue in the bottom left hand corner there directly on my card base. And then after applying my snowflake die cuts, I glued down my little snowman directly above the sentiment. To finish off the card, I'm using this Holiday Bliss sequin mix by Cat Scrappiness. And I'm using my sparkle stick from Doodles Paper Playground to pick out all of the little snowflakes to place them inside some of the larger snowflakes on my background. Of course, I've sped this up. <laughs> and then um, after doing, after applying all of those snowflakes, I added some Stickles glitter glue in ice glaze to the little poof part of the hat and across the front of his hat on my little snowman. And then I took some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew. It, it dries clear and it just adds shine to whatever you add it to. So I added that to the eyes and the mouth of my snowman. For the last finishing touch, I added one of the light blue Starlight Gems from Pink and Main 
to the center of that snowflake there at the bottom left corner. This card was really quick and easy to make and I think it turned out pretty cute. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and also let me know where you're from. In order to win a prize from one of our sponsors, please comment along each stop on the hop. And you have until December 4th to watch and comment on all hop videos. And the winners will be chosen randomly and will be announced here on my channel on December 6th. So if, if you're not already a subscriber, please click on that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. I hope you'll click on the next video in the up in the description box below to watch the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful crafty day!